Hey! <clears throat> Sorry, I, I think I came on a little too strong. Hello. Today, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and we've been doing melee weapons here and there. We got the Wakasashi Dark Aether, and we just got the Sledgehammer Dark Aether. But today, we're gonna mix it up a little bit and not get one melee weapon done, but two. <laughs> and by that, I mean we're gonna get the Ballistic Knife done. Now, I've already used this a little bit. I think there was a weapon unlock challenge where you needed to use a special weapon in Zombies to get it, so I used the Ballistic Knife for that. So I have a little bit of camos done for this. We still need about 600 just normal kills with this. Almost all of our stunned and distracted kills. Uh, we need about double our pack-a-punch kills. Vintage is done, so we don't have to worry about Aether Shroud. Special eliminations are also done. We need to get rapid kills with it, which is something we haven't had to do yet with these melee weapons. And we need all, and I mean all, all of our jackrabbit kills. So basically this is gonna be the same thing as gonna be us struggling getting jackrabbit kills, but hopefully we can get it done in this one game. And since we don't have to use Aether Shroud or any of that, I'm gonna be using Toxic Growth to see if that helps with our jackrabbit metals. But we got a lot to do, let's hop in. All right, here we are with the Blitzer Knife. I think I'm gonna melee for as long as I can. I don't know how long it's gonna one shot for. I don't know if it still carries the same melee damage as other melee weapons because this isn't a special weapon class. Hopefully it does. That way we're not flying through our ammo so fast. But in these early rounds, we don't really need to worry about it. Really gotta focus on these Jackrabbit medals early and often. So far, so good. We haven't been touched, but the way this has been going, I'm about to get hit any second. Oh, max ammo. Thank God. Actually, wait. No, we we actually need ammo in this. Okay, I can't use that joke this time. All right, I'm back in the cheese spot. I am completely fine with exploiting this. Actually, it's not even an exploit. We're just playing smart. There's one There's one metal. We just need like 40 more. I'll sit here and do this till about, I don't know, round six, maybe round seven. Then I'm gonna go turn power on and everything. That way I can have this pack a punch and I'm ready to go for when the Panzer comes. Can I pick up the ammo? Oh, I can. Sweet. Ooh, got a little intense there for a second. There's another metal and another camo, or at least our first camo. The inspect on the ballistic knife is actually so good. There's so much movement. You actually get to see every inch of the weapon. It's like perfect. There's another one. Ooh, insta-kill, perfect. All right, last round here. There we go, leveling up. Oh, and another camo. No wonder we leveled up. This is so stupidly easy. Oh, and the bloodshed camo, let's go. All right, we gotta go start getting power on. It's only gonna get more difficult from here. Oh, Tempest, where are you, buddy? Wait, where, actually, where is it? It is not spawning. Oh, as soon as I say it. Hey there, little guy. Ooh. Uh-oh. Let me get my fuse, please. Toss a stun. Get some kills off of it, too, while we're at it. All right, now I need to get out of here. I do not want to go down on round seven. We're not doing that. We're, we're better than that. Oh no, did the power not work? Oh my god, who would have seen this coming? All right, Tempest. Ooh, got wombo comboed. Put in the last fuse, pull the lever, and let's just go ahead and start up Pack-A-Punch. There we go, it only took two shots. Owned. All right, let's Pack-A-Punch. Let's get Shatter Blast. And let's also take a peek at the Pack-A-Punch camo. Hold on, let me get away from all these zombies. All right, here we go. This looks amazing. They're actually, the red is bleeding into the top there. This, the first Pack-A-Punch camo gotta be one of my favorites. Like it's, it, it's honestly so good. But this is a spot I really wanted to try. Now that we have toxic growth, we can just sit right here. Any zombies come in, they're gonna get slowed down. Ooh, Shatter Blast's gonna get that too. But if we're sitting here taking out the guys that are crawling up, these guys are gonna come in. I'm gonna get the notification that they're coming in by the hit markers, and they're gonna be too slowed to hit me. So this is gonna be easy Jackrabbit medals. There we go, and we already got a camera to show for it. Why are they all crawlers? Go away. And just in case, I'll put the third one right here. Let's go ahead and grab Jug, Quick Revive, and I think next we'll get Deadshot because we're actually gonna have to shoot this thing and since I am still playing on controller, Deadshot's gonna be a lot more useful to me. And also, I, I just wanna point out, I did see that you guys were talking about or some of you were commenting saying that I was going rough on my controller and I was for sure. I was making sure I was slamming on that trigger. Like when, when you're using a sledgehammer, you definitely gotta go a lot harder. But also, the, this mic does pick up a whole lot. If you're asking if I'm gonna stop going on heart of the controller never oh another jackrabbit we're demolishing jackrabbits we're actually demolishing these challenges right now already at 225 kills we already have a bunch of jackrabbits we're going we're, we're on good pace here let me grab dead shot and stamina up i think once this middle bush decays i'm gonna move it further back that way if i need to back up to get these zombies kills they can still get slowed down as they climb up 
This is so easy. There's another metal. Here, I'm gonna move it right now, actually. I'll put it right here, replace this one, and replace that one. Now I think this is the perfect setup. And let me get speed cola. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Am I just now noticing? Maybe I did shoot a little bit last time. But did my max ammo for the ballistic knife go from 12 to 13? Is that the ammo boost you get from pack-a-punching this? I'm, sh I'm sure I just don't have enough ammo on me because there's no way. There's another jackrabbit. We're demolishing these. This is, I think this might be the best strat for jackrabbit kills. Oh, no more ammo, but it's okay. We got a glitch camo. I would buy ammo, but I feel like a tormentor round's coming soon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to upgrade this. I really don't have any scrap. Do they not drop any scrap if you're using a ballistic knife? Or is it just because the spot I'm using because they can't get up to me? Oh, well. There's another metal. We're only like five away. This is going to be fast. This is actually such a broken method for jackrabbit kills. I can't believe how easy this has been. Yeah, see, we already... Oh, wait, no, that's Pack-A-Punch. Is that the last jackrabbit metal? Or the jackrabbit camo? I don't know. Either way, we are so close to getting them done. All right, bring it on, Tormentors. I'm still not even going to get hit by them. <laughs> the toxic growth is so clutch. I don't know how people can rate this so low as a field upgrade. It's so broken, especially for camo grinding. Look at this. Tormentors don't even have a chance to get to you. People really sleeping on toxic growth. And we got free ammo out of it. So the max is 20 with Pack-A-Punch 1, not 13. It's still not that big of an upgrade, to be honest. Oh, speaking of upgrade, let's go Pack-A-Punch 2. All right, this is what it looks like with the Pack-A-Punch 2 camo. Still really, really nice. You can really see the texture on the handle. I like that a lot with these melee weapons. And just the actual camo looks good in itself. Like, they really outdid themselves with this Pack-A-Punch. But back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, wait, there's a Panzer. Hey, pal. Look, he's in the toxic growth, hasn't hit me. Hit me one time. That's it. Oh, with insta-kill. These bushes are insane. All they gotta do is touch it and they're done. Watch, I'll stand right here. Come on, come here. Oh, oh, did you die? That sucks. With speed cola, this thing basically instantly reloads. Look at that. There's not even time for animation. It just appears back <laughs> into, th into the vault. All right, I'm gonna go for like two more jackrabbit medals. And if I'm not getting a camo, then I think I'm done with them. And then I'm gonna start focusing on these stun kills. There's one jackrabbit. Let's see if we get one more. All right, time for another easy torment around. There's another jackrabbit. No camo though, so I think we're done with those. But we do have enough to get Pack-A-Punch 3. Let's look at it. That's awesome. Probably, I, I, I really think Pack-A-Punch 3, sometimes the colors clash on like other weapons. But on melee weapons, it looks so nice when they just make the handle solid gold. Like it's just perfect. Buy a few stuns. Probably should have bought Mule Kick to do that. Oh, and I went down instantly. I'm just gonna use my self revive. I'm grabbing Mule Kick. Can you get off me? Thank you. All right, I'm jumping down and now we're just gonna stun these guys. Here, let's find an area to put a toxic growth down at. That way we can slow them too. Where's a nice little choke point we can run them through? I'm thinking like right here. There we go. Now we just need 50 of those. We're on 10, so 40 more. If Shatter Blast procs, it'll be perfect. Oh, we got a Jackrabbit medal though. One more stun. Ooh, Shatter Blast, perfect. Stun these guys too. Oh, we're already at 40? We're flying through these camos. We only have one left, and I think that's all we're going to need. But just in case, I'm going to buy one more stun. Oh, it gave me two. Let's go. Shout out Mule Kick. And I think we're getting close on our normal kills because we got the Bloodshed camo really early into it. And I think we only needed about 750 kills. And we're at 728. And then we need to get a few Pack-A-Punch kills, and we're good. There we go. Rotten camo. Gotten it by taking out a Disciple. I knew we were close on that. All right. Stun him. Oh, there we go. That's the banish camo. We have everything but our pack-a-punch kills, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I need to kill two or more rapidly. Is it shoot and melee? Is that what it is? Here. Well, I guess a stun's gonna help with that. We still don't have armor after all this time. We have such little scrap. I, is this a thing with the ballistic knife where you get no scrap? Because we're on round 24 and we don't have enough to even get armor level one. Ooh, there we go. Oh no. I need to quick revive here. Come here, let me stab you. Come on. Okay, whew. Here, I grabbed a bunch of perks and I don't have enough to buy another self revive because we don't even have enough to get armor. I really just got to stay safe. Maybe sitting over here will help. We got to, we got to take on the grind spot. That actually was kind of sick. And we got two jackrabbit medals just doing that. Yeah, we're camping out here. As long as a panzer doesn't spawn behind us, let's just pray no pans around. Actually, we might have enough for a self revive. I'm gonna go check. We do. Ooh. Oh, oh, elemental pop with this thing. It's going to cherry constantly. That's broken. Okay, now they're dropping salvage. Maybe I just need to be on like flat ground. There we go. We got to be getting close. 
Okay, can we upgrade anything now? How much do we have? That should be enough. Armor level one and green tier. These for sure gotta be rapid kills. This rapid kill thing is like broken. I really hope I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure we went through everything. We got jack rapid kills done fast. We got our stun kills down fast. And now our rapid kills are actually not moving very rapidly for some reason. Because it's two or more enemies in a short amount of time, right? I feel like I'm doing that consistently. I don't know what it, it needs to count. Maybe it's like I need to shoot and stab one. So maybe I'll try that out. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So maybe that was the strat. But now we have Dark Aether on the Ballistic Knife. And our next exfil isn't for a few rounds here. So I might just let uh, might just let the wolves come and get me. All right. I'm just going to die in the fire. Going out a champion. All right. This is what the Ballistic Knife looks like in Gold Viper. Still awful. I hate this camo with a passion. Plague Diamond looks really nice. They always have nice diamond coverage on like almost every weapon. It, they, this is the one they never do wrong. I've never seen a bad Plague Diamond or just normal diamond for that matter. And Dark Aether looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Now let's go see what it looks like in game. All right. This is what Dark Aether looks like on the Ballistic Knife and it is even better in game. Not only is it on the actual Ballistic Knife, but it comes on on the secondary knife as well it's it's actually a really nice touch they put it on there the skin looks so good they matted out the whole handle honestly this might be one of my favorite looking weapons with dark aether just because of the the little touches of the metal rings and everything getting the camo on it not on this one actually on the right ballistic knife it doesn't have it but you can see on the bottom of the left one it does for whatever reason pack-a-punch camos cover it but maybe they decided to do that after i don't know how going back and remapping camos works so i'm not gonna get too mad about it but i think it looks really nice and i think that's where we're gonna end today's video if you guys like this you want to see more leave a like on it you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put all kinds of cod content throughout the week and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later